Uh, my name is Varun Westcott. I've been going to Code Days since uh, kind of the beginning of freshman year, and right now I'm a junior in high school. And um, it's been uh, one of my favorite activities, actually. Probably around nine, because, yeah, three years is a long time. After coming to my first Code Day, I suddenly started learning more about game development, learning about, okay, how can I, like, do the things I've seen people do, and then, like, at my very first Code Day, I made a game and we actually won Best Game, and that was a huge boost to like my confidence in both kind of my presentation and in terms of like, hey, you know, I can really help make a, a good product, something that people enjoy, and that, that's kind of carried me to where I am today. You don't need to be an expert to make a game that's actually fun to play. You can just kind of have a few basic elements, and then already, you can look back at it and say, hey, look, this is a thing that I made from scratch. There's nothing that anyone else had to do to put this product here in front of me. And that's incredible. Like you can't, you can't really do that with anything but a game where it's just so easy to understand and yet it's so easy to replicate yourself with limited knowledge, limited resources. And so it's a good place to kind of be like, you know what, maybe computer science is for me. Maybe this is something that I can do. A little under a year ago, so that's like a while after my very first Code Day, I actually made my first VR game. We called it Color Dash, and there were a lot of bugs. And we kind of we did the developer thing where we kind of phrase it, "Oh yeah, it's a feature," but um, there were a lot of bugs. But that was a huge step for us. We breached into 3D. We breached into using virtual reality. We encountered all the whole like accessibility aspects of uh, when you design a product, for instance, like hey, uh, what if someone doesn't have a fancy Oculus Rift? How can we get this game to work on like a Google Cardboard or something that anyone can get? And then so basically just every code day has been kind of a mark into a new, a new type of thing, a new like sector that we've managed to explore. And so that, that was a big pivot because then we started doing 3D games for our code days. For instance, then the next code day, we worried more about kind of changing up all of the physics of a game. We created a game where you could change gravity, you could run on walls, and all of this is like stuff that we never would have been expected to do from our first code days. And like, it, it was, these were things that older me would have considered very advanced, but it's what we're doing now. And so now at this code day, we're kind of going back to that VR idea, except more kind of, there's just a lot more to everything. So I guess just code days have been important because they've kind of marked the progress of like, how far myself and my friends and my peers have come in terms of our game development, app development, just the things we can do. Because every time what we last did seems trivial and we want to do something more. And I think that's what's actually really cool about having these events because it's so structured and that you can point to a thing you've done and say, yeah, we've, we've already accomplished that and now we're moving on to the next big thing.